What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to check out a tool that makes placing points on centers of things like faces really easy. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is something I was actually working on yesterday. And um, what I needed is I needed the ability to quickly add some hardware to things like cabinets inside of my SketchUp model. Now, um, there's a couple different ways that you can do this. And so one of the things that I wanted to do is place things like this object right here um, on the central point of this face. And so one thing that you can do is you can use the move tool in order to start moving objects in here, you can try to like inference to these surfaces and things like that. That can get a little bit clunky, right? Like see how even getting it to inference to the face is not necessarily working the way that I would like it to. Um, but you can take this object and then just kind of like inference here and then try to find the middle point right here and then try to inference again. It just, it takes a long time if you try to do this manually, right? And so what I found is there's actually an extension from TIG called center point. All. And so what center point all does is it basically does exactly what it sounds like. It puts a center point on anything that you have selected. So say for example that I've got a box like this one and I select a face, you can run add center point and it's going to add a guide point right here on this face. Now that's extremely helpful for things like this cabinet, right? Because what I want to do is I want to place a center point in the middle of this cabinet. Well then I can inference directly to that center point, right? So I can find the base point of my bounding box right here. I can just mouse over this and I can just inference to this right here. And then like, say we wanted to do the same thing on this surface, what we could do is we could just come in here and just draw a quick rectangle on the surface like this, or it might be faster to just draw a couple lines, but then you can select the surface, you can run add center point, and you can find the center of this, uh, this surface right here. Now, one other tool that I've been using a lot, and I'll talk a little bit more about add center point in a second, is there's a function inside of sketch plus, which basically gives you the ability to quickly change the axis axes of a model. Well, in this case, say that I wanted to quickly place this object based on the middle point of this bounding box right here. Notice how as I move over this, it's just kind of like not doing what I want it to do, right? And so what I can do instead is there's an option over here under the components plus to change the axes. And if I click in here and I place the axis location on this back point, well, notice how now, because the axes are in the back, it's the origin and it shows up as a snap point. So now I can move this directly over this point right here really quickly. And so say that we wanted to do the same thing to add our little, uh, say we wanted to do the same thing for our cabinet knobs right here. I could just add a center point. I could take this object and I'm going to make sure that my axes are sent, set right on the middle point on the back right here. Well, then I can take this and I can inference it over to this point right here. So super easy to do, super fast. And so I wish I'd known about this extension sooner. Um, and then once I place this, I mean, obviously, since this is a symmetrical cabinet, I could just use the flip tool um, in, um, in copy mode in order to flip a copy across like this. And so one other cool thing about this is what this is doing is this also will add a central point on non rectangular faces. So if I add a center point right here, it'll do that. It'll also if you use it, and by the way, you can get rid of all these guide points by just going to edit delete guides when you're done with them, but it'll also put a center point in the middle of an object like this. So if you need to find the center of an object, it'll do that. And note that it'll use, if you have a shape like this one, it'll use basically the object bounds. So the bounding box this creates, um, you can use this in order to find the center point right here. One thing I wish I could do is set the center point of one of the sides of this object. Um, you can't do that right now, which is a little bit of a bummer, but that's probably okay. And then one of the other cool things that it can do is it can do it on multiple different selections, right? So if I select all of these faces and then do an add center point because these aren't grouped, notice how it adds these points, not only to the faces, but also to any edges you have selected. So if you draw an edge, like this, and you want to add a center point, you can just do it in extensions, add center point, and you can find the midpoint of that edge. Now, 
for edges, it's not necessarily ideal because you can already inference to the midpoint of edges. But if you need something a little more visual, this is an easy way to do that. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you knew about this tool, if you've been using it. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.